Hi everyone, Saki from Japan here. If you are new to Canada or finally moving out from your parents' home, house hunting should be new and exciting experience for you. So I would like to share tips for how to find rental places and some uncommon keywords. First, let's start with this. What kind of place can you rent here? Here in Canada, we have independent units and shared units. In independent units, you'll have your own entrance and space. On the other hand, in shared units, you have to share space with the other tenants or the owner. So basically, you'll live with roommates. I'll show you the video when I was looking for a private apartment. Independent units are mostly unfinished. However, mostly it comes with a fridge and oven cooker for sure. And maybe microwave and dishwasher if you are lucky. Washer and dryer will come with them. Otherwise, the building has them in a common space for sharing. This unit has a washer and dryer. This fridge is very Japanese size. So this is living and dining area. I like the street view on the ground floor. The patio is okay, but I didn't like the old building in front of it. One more thing, I don't like the hallway because it's simply a dead space. The bedroom is good size, king size bed can fit. But again, this view is miserable. Aww. The closet is good size, I guess. Next, shared units are mostly furnished. When they say master bedroom, it comes with an ensuite bathroom. If it's just a bedroom, bathroom might be shared with someone else. Then it's a small room without a window. The next words are what I had never heard before I came to Canada. Coach house means a small building for carriages and vehicles, but if you see it on listings, it's an attic room. The next one is ground level basement suite. This is the basement suite that I went to see the other day, but it's on the ground level. And then solar room. Basically, it's a sun room in a condominium. Just call the number on a sign in front of a good looking building. Then you can speak to the building manager. That's a simple and fast way. Here in Canada, we don't typically use realtors for finding rental residential places like some other countries. Instead, we use social medias and websites like Facebook, Craigslist, and Zoomer. If you find a good place that you want to see, simply message the landlords. In the message, you should briefly explain about yourself because some la landlords are too busy to reply to uh, just a simple message such as, is this still available? Especially if the landlords are getting so many messages from potential tenants. So you should put something like, I am a female Japanese, I'm single, and I'm quiet and clean, and I'm going to stay there for six months, something like that. Then you will be able to get the replies from them more quickly. Airbnb offers some short-term rental option up to one month. In that case, the price might be a little bit higher 
but the process is just online. You can pay with your credit card, so the process is pretty easy. Now I will share important points to check now. Utility, cable, internet, parking, laundry, furniture, are they included? If the lease term is one year or six months minimum, then you have to stay there for that period. If you want to leave before that period ends, then you have to give up the deposit. Month to month term is very flexible and it's tenant friendly. You just give the landlord one month notice and you can leave. In Canada, having just shower without a tub is common. So if you really like taking a bath, you should probably check that first.